Hey guys, so uh, I decided to make a little video about this event because I've had quite a few friends of mine on that play this game ask me how I do the tier C, so I'm going to make a tutorial. This is for people, you know, about level 30-ish. I would say uh, that they'll have absolutely no problem doing this. Uh, at least they shouldn't as long as they have all the basic units that I'm going to show. So, uh, so far, I've acquired a couple Hellhounds. I'm going to get one more, and then I'm going to switch to a different unit before the event's over. I got the uh, Napalm Turret. I got the Valkyrie Schematic, the Hellstorm Schematic, Vanquisher Schematic, uh, Attack Dogs. Believe it or not, I did not have those. And uh, I think that's actually it. But I haven't played it. A whole lot. I'm going to start playing it a lot more these past two days. Try to get as many units. I uh, might go for an infiltrator leader or a infiltrator pack after my next hellhound. So this is how you do it. So what I'd recommend is... I, I honestly don't know if you're going to be having a problem with the defensive waves on this. But if you do this right and you're able to do it decently, you should be able to completely knock this out of the park pretty quickly. Alright, so let's go to overview, let's restart tier 3, and if you've noticed, I do have a attack buff, I mean a defense buff. I'd recommend getting one, especially if you have a weaker base. I don't really have the strongest base in the world. Um, I mean, as you can see, most of the defense is pretty much done for my attacking troops, my defensive troops. Um, I go for instant repair, so that means I can spam the shit out of this. Um, I go... The, fir the first defense wave, I don't really do anything special. I purely do... I mean, riflemen. I mean, they're the mm -hmm. cheapest, quickest to uh, repair unit there is. And, I mean, why not spam your base full of them? I mean... It doesn't help when you go up against a player, but when you go up against basic units, um, you know, it really helps. It really, really helps. So I'm going to have to segment this video um, later on when it comes to doing the uh, level 10. So I'm going to stop recording and then I'll re-record at key points because this video would drag on way too long if I didn't uh, do that. And I know listening to my talk is <laughs> probably a little annoying, but... I'm using a free program to do this because I'm a little lazy on the editing side, so I can't record computer volume. So you're just going to have to listen to the sweet, sweet sound of my voice on KeolaTV.com forward slash World War Commander. Yeah. Alright, so uh, what you do now is, uh, like I said, this requires nothing special, especially if you have an attack bonus. If you didn't have, like, a uh, defense bonus, I'd recommend hover tanks or mega tanks if you don't have hover tanks. And if you don't have any of those, then uh, just build some Humvees, which I know anybody can do. And then what you do is you send them on attack. And um, what will happen is most of your turrets, even if they're low level, they'll take care of the majority of these guys, even if you're really, really weak base. And then what you'll do is you'll send in your Humvees to clean up the two guys that like to loiter, loiter on your property up here. And th so this is the easiest part. Now it gets a little trickier. And this is why, you know, of course, this tutorial is needed. Um, it's going to take about 10 minutes, I think, to get to level 10 with the speed of this. Because I'm not really pausing that much. I want to make, I want this to be natural and... Um, you know, you get the point. Okay, so let's start repairs. Finish. Now, um, I'm, I'm jailed. <laughs> jailed. <laughs> oh, Jesus, so funny. So you're gonna notice I'm gonna have, to, um, I'm gonna be using my SF troops. Now I only have two troops, so that's why I'm pretty sure anybody and their grandmother could do it at this point, because I think. As long as you haven't been 
not playing at all until just today for some reason, um, you should probably have um, special forces. If you don't, then you're going to have a repair time because you're going to probably have to use um, some hover tanks. I, I would recommend just to clear out some of the extra trash. Um, the other thing I'd recommend is uh, even if you somehow don't have that, then you know what? Just get Hellstorms. If you don't have Hellstorms, then I don't know what to fucking tell you, buddy. I mean, I had I had Hellstorms by the time I was like level 20, so if you are level 30 and you don't have Hellstorms, then you know, man, I guess you should have a look. Alright, now I send in my SF troops without any assistance and let them go auto because they actually pretty much outrange everything, and uh, even if I do have a hundred percent of my base ex uh, accessible, like I'm not being jailed. <laughs> Those idiots. Um, I would only have like three seconds of repair time, seriously, from this base on my SF troops. So there, it's just just let them be free. The only reason I send in um, helicopters is to make this quicker by um, sniping this, getting rid of this, and then I let them move without any assistance that way and uh, it makes the it makes the base cleared in like three minutes it doesn't instead of taking fucking forever you know um, like I said though it takes me like probably 10 or 15 minutes to do the uh, level 10 base because I do it really carefully and I try to make sure there's literally like no damage done to my SF troops and as you guys know they have some of the the behemoths and some of the Hulk um, you know I don't even know what the fuck they're called but yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass, so you gotta kind of space your units back. If I wasn't jailed, I would just send in um, elite riflemen to absorb um, the attack from the zombies on level 10. And then that way, if they get killed, it's an instant repair and, there, and there's no big deal. And you can send them in, a hundred of them, plus your 200 capacity in... Uh, special forces. So that way you could send your riflemen ahead of them as they tank the really nasty zombie. And then you just uh, you just go to town. Just go to town. So as you can see, I outrange all these because their range is pretty weak. Um, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But, you know, luckily, if you got, if you got Hellstorms and they're, I think, above level 8, should be fine on this. You just want to make sure that they have the 450 range because if they don't, I don't know. They might get in, in range of these. They might even get range of this. I don't even know to be honest. This is the first time I've completely gone unassisted and surprisingly no damage. <laughs> now, as you've noticed, um, my SF units are kind of moving slow. Slow, I think. This is probably gonna get done by the 3 or 2 minute and 50 second marker, 2 minute and 30 second marker. And my eyes are really bad, so I cannot read that. Is that 8 minutes or 7 minutes? I think that's 8 minutes. Damn, it's been a long time. Well, at about the the 10 minute mark, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I should be done with this. And then it'll take maybe 3 or 4 minutes to do the defense wave. And then uh, I'll start editing the level 10 just to show key points and what's important. Oh, by the way, these uh, these SF units, even without the AI, they're pretty pretty stupid. They keep attacking those explosive guys that'll blow them up. So when you do the level 10 base, make sure that you do exactly what I do. So that way when they're attacking the buildings in the back and clearing the way for your um, ground units, that... <laughs> That you don't do what I've done and had your entire um, helicopter platoon blown up like three times. I, oh god, yeah, pretty much uh, idiot I'm over here. But uh, you know you can you can avoid that pretty easy. You're just gonna have to pay extra attention to what you're doing. All right, now we're on the last stretch of five minutes. Hopefully we can get this done. Um, if not, I'll just edit this, uh, make another recording. And I'll just put it all together in uh, Windows Movie Maker and just make it a little bit longer. So maybe like an 18-minute video. Which I don't think anyone's gonna really going to mind. Alright. So starting this, this is what I do. Now you don't have to do this. You can just use an extra um, units, especially ones that you think will tr um, 
will repair fast. So I send in 40 elite Valkyries for this part 2 of the uh the reason I do Valkyries is because they can't be they can't be targeted. And uh I like that because it allows me to do this without any major trouble. So what I'd recommend is uh, sending them in the corners like this. Oh shit, I gotta do this too. And then watch. I start I start it, and I'm not really gonna have any repair time. Now I do this for the first two waves, and then on the last one I do the uh, hover tanks. And I do hover tanks because it makes my life a lot easier on dealing with those hulks or behemoths or whatever the hell those zombies are called. Um, you know, you're going to get a little bit of damage on this, but usually what you do, um, I actually placed that those there. I had these there. Placed them because I knew that's where the plane hit when I couldn't get it. So just uh, adapt your base to this because uh, you can get quite a bit of farm farming tier C. I mean, I've probably gotten more than 300,000 XP over my farming, but I don't farm that much. So that kind of contributes to how much you can actually make just farming this. Now, I've done uh, some tier B, like, um, level 15 base is really easy. And level 30 base is really, really easy if you have Hellstorms. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my platoons, cancel, manage. And then all you do is you just clean them up. Oh, wait, no, what am I doing? Sorry, I have one more to go. And then I'm going to clean them up. It's pretty easy, though. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a uh, part two of this video. Like I said, you know, I'm narrating because... Oh, whoa, shit. Ah, damn it, did it again. Oh, my God, I fucking hate this. I don't pay attention for a second. It switches me to fucking B or C or whatever. I hate this sometimes. I'm not paying attention. All right, well, I just lost a bunch of my units. Whatever. It's not that big a deal. Okay. Go here, mission three. Now we should have no problem. I hope it's the right one. God damn it. I got my contacts in, so I'm like 50% blind right now. It's not as bad as if I'm not wearing anything, but I still get quite a bit of blurriness from this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to repair my Valkyries again. Damn it. They take so fucking long to repair, man. So I just, I like to skip it in general and just say screw you guys, but... And this is why it's really good that I have Plasma Watch. Boom! Take that shit out quick. And see, then you also have your troops to kind of sponge up the majority of the damage with uh, these Mega Tanks. And then once they zap it, it's dead. And there you go. Pretty much no damage. Very, very easy. Unlike the Tier B or Tier A, which is uh, pretty much you're going to have to have good walls and good turrets, which I just don't have. I spent the majority of level 29 trying not to become level 30, so I wouldn't have what has happened to me happen. Alright, so I have enough time to do um, the tutorial for this last part, which I will do. Um, okay, so cancel, manage. Now i got to try to do this quick, because I only have like two minutes. Uh, I'm trying to speed cook here. Alright, save, repair. Finish. Manage. Hover tanks. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and put them here. And then start this shit. So I think I only have a minute left. Yeah. <laughs> minute. God. I really hope I can do this in a minute. Cause my, I got my 15 minute cap going on. Oh, shit. Alright. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Do it in a minute. As you can see, you need to control your hover tanks, though, to stop the uh, units from getting. Um, you don't have to have the uh, surface-to-air missiles like I have. Um, I have tried it without it, and it did fine. I just do it because of the extra area, area splash damage. It really helps. And then you get, can't forget this guy is going to get stuck in your corner if you have a base that's similar to mine. Um, gets taken care of, and it is done so i think i'm barely i barely have enough time oh my gosh i do all right guys i'll see you in part two stay tuned